it's Samantha Erica here and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscription button down below so you can see more videos from me. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first pregnancy update and I am currently 27 weeks pregnant so I'm pretty far along. Everything has been going pretty well so far I would say. Um, for the last maybe four, five weeks, everything's been pretty much the same. I'm still a little bit tired during the day and I get like this weird pain in my side. But other than that, I've been doing pretty well. Like if I sit down too long, I have this pain like in my ribs right below my bust. And it only happens when I sit for a long time. Like if I'm laying down on the bed or if I'm walking around, it's fine. But after I sit for a bit, the pain starts and it takes a really long time to go away. Like I have to go to bed and probably sleep and wake up for the pain to be gone. But other than that, physically, I've been feeling pretty, pretty good, I would say. Um, in terms of weight gain, I haven't gained any weight in the past two to three weeks and I haven't really been worried about it because I have pretty regular doctor's appointments and ultrasounds and the baby is growing at a normal average pace so I'm not worried about not gaining any weight like recently but I have gained a lot of weight based on my pre-pregnancy weight. I'm currently up about 20 pounds than I usually am so that is a lot of weight so I'm a little bit happy that I haven't been gaining much weight lately so that's pretty good I think I might kind of balance out now maybe in the next month or two I'll gain more weight but right now my weight's pretty much steady so that's good I'm currently on pelvic rest and modified bed rest because at about 23 weeks pregnant I found out that I had an incompetent cervix so my doctor did put me on bed rest and pelvic rest and I've been having appointments every two weeks to have ultrasounds done and measure my cervical length just to keep monitoring and making sure that everything is going well and for the last two th to three appointments um, my cervix, ha my cervix has been pretty stable, so that's really good. I'm not really worried too much about it, just because um, she said usually once it stays stable, you shouldn't have any trouble with going to full term as long as, well, you do what you need to do. So pelvic rest and bed rest. So lately I haven't been doing much because I don't want to put too much stress on my cervix too much pressure on it so I've been taking it pretty easy I don't stay in bed all day I still get up and I still do what I have to do but if I don't have anything to do I wouldn't do anything like else. the most annoying thing I would say so far about being pregnant is having to pee all the time like I probably pee about 50 times a day and I'm not even like Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm over exaggerated, not 50 times a day, but I pee a lot during the day and I wake up at least like two times during the night just to go pee and it's really annoying because when you're in bed and you're sleeping, you don't want to have to get up to go to the washroom. Like it's really annoying. Before I would sleep all through the night, like I never ever get up to use the washroom. So it's a big difference. It has been pretty active like sometimes I wonder if this baby ever sleeps because as long as I'm awake I can feel him moving if I wake up during the night he's moving if I'm just hanging out during the day laying on a couch I can feel him moving and it's not even like little flutters or little movements like he's it's like he's going crazy in there like I can see my tummy like moving and I have been feeling him move starting at about 17 weeks so I think that's pretty early I do have an um a posterior um placenta so the placenta is at the back so I can actually feel him moving a lot so 17 weeks I started feeling him moving and each week I've actually been feeling him move more and more and the the movements that I can see 
from outside it's actually getting really crazy i'll try and record it so you guys can see what i'm talking about a lot he's a very 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 active baby and if this like has anything to do with how he's gonna be when he comes out i'm gonna start preparing for not getting much sleep because if, if i wake up at 3 and like 3 a.m in the morning he's up and moving if i'm laying on my side i can feel like he's pushing against my side like he's telling me like i need to roll over if i go to the other side he's pushing against that side so i don't know i try not to sleep too much on my back because well everyone says it's not good to sleep on your back when you're pregnant it's better to sleep on your left side so i try to fall asleep on my left side but most of the time I wake up, I'm on my right side or I'm on my back. And I don't, I'm not too worried about it because I think, like my doctor said, as long as you're not having any trouble breathing or you feel fine, you don't feel dizzy or anything, it should be fine. Like your body would tell you if you need to basically roll over. So I haven't been too worried about it. He, I think he's more comfortable when I'm sleeping on my back because he feels restricted like if the bed's pressing against my side he pushes against that side so then i have to roll over so it's just i don't know it's really weird i try to sleep on my left side i did do my glucose challenge test already and i did that at 25 weeks pregnant and i passed at like on the first time so i didn't have to do the three hour one i only had to do the one hour test so you basically go there they give you a really sweet glucose drink to drink so after you drink it you wait an hour and then they take blood to test your sugar to see your ability to process like your body's ability to process the glucose so i passed that test and i'm free of gestational diabetes so that's a good thing what else in terms of maternity clothes, I haven't really bought any maternity clothes. Actually, I did. I bought two pairs of jeans. No, I bought one pair of jeans and I got one pair as a gift. And this shirt that I'm wearing is actually a maternity shirt that I got from Old Navy. So it has like the, like the stretchy side that makes it a little bit more comfortable so your belly has room. That's what it looks like. So I bought this shirt and I bought like a gray tank top with the same stretchy side that's super comfortable. But I've pretty much been wearing my same clothes. I have these leggings here that's pretty stretchy that I bought. They're not maternity leggings but they're really loose and comfortable. They're still snug on my legs but like pretty good, like pretty loose around my tummy so I've been wearing these quite a bit I have a, a like a couple other pairs of leggings that I wear and while I'm standing up I'll show you guys my baby bump and that's what it's looking like getting pretty big so it looks like from the front and my belly button has popped my belly button popped about maybe two three weeks ago it came out and I took out my belly button ring so I do have a little hole right here from my belly button ring but yeah so that's what my bump is looking like they say when the line goes up above your belly button it means you're having a boy and if it just stops below your belly button it means you're having a girl and for me, that's true. I am having a boy and my line goes pretty much to the middle of my tummy. Yeah, so that's what my baby bump is looking like. I think that's pretty much it. We have started painting the nursery, so I'll be posting a video of that so you guys can see the colors that we chose and the way that we painted it. So that might be my next video, so you guys can stay tuned for that. I'm going to try and do pregnancy updates maybe every two weeks. 
And we did buy the crib, so we might be putting that up on the weekend, so that's pretty exciting. It's a white crib that we got from Babies R Us. We haven't gotten the mattress yet, so I don't know if we might wait until we get the mattress to put up the crib or we might just go ahead and put it up. There's a dresser I'm thinking about buying, so maybe we'll get that this weekend. But everything else I think we're going to wait until after the baby shower to purchase anything else because we'll just see what we get. And if I sound like I'm out of breath, I am out of breath because I've been talking a lot <laughs> and I don't know, lately I've just been really out of breath. Like if I just walk down the stairs and come back up, I'm literally like panting and gasping for air. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for my 27 week pregnancy update. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that red subscription button down below. And as usual, if you guys have any questions for me, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll respond to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.